Hey everyone, welcome to a new video, welcome to my channel. My name is Maika and today I'm coming to you from a very brightly lit day, very differently from some other videos that I've filmed previously. We've been having sunshine and it's been lovely, so that's why I'm, I'm sitting here basking in the sun like a cat and we're gonna be talking about lipsticks. Essence lipsticks, by the way, um, because uh, these lipsticks are new from Essence. They look very similar to their This Is Me nude line, and I believe these are also part of the This Is Me nude line, but this is the This Is Me semi-shine lipstick. There are eight shades of this, and this was a new launch for the fall winter season for 2020, and I decided to buy all eight and try them out for you. So I did a video just like this with the new Catrice lipsticks that came out for fall winter. So I'll link that uh, in the eye above in case you were wondering. Um, but yeah, today we are talking about all eight shades in the Essence This Is Me Semi Shine lipstick line. I'll be swatching them on my hand and put them on my lips and we'll talk a little bit about formula, smell, the color selection, all that jazz. If you want to see close-ups of my lips wearing these lipsticks and all that and you want to see more close-up pictures of these lipsticks, then please check out my blog which is linked in the description box below. The day this video goes live I'll also have a uh, blog post up with some more pictures in case you're wondering. So if you find, find this too far away, it's just that I'm filming with manual uh, focus. I'm not sure if I'm in focus actually. <laughs> Uh, but I'm filming with manual focus, so uh, I, I have difficulty with this camera uh, when it uh, is on a automatic focus, which is why I then choose to have the close-up pictures over on my blog. So please check that out if you want to. So let's just cut to the chase straight away. So Essence Lipsticks and me, we're not exactly the best of friends. Um, Essence Lipsticks, in my experience, aren't the longest lasting. I find them to be weirdly drying on my lips usually and I usually don't like their scent either. I think that in my entire makeup collection, I only have one regular Essence lipstick still left because they are just not my favorite. So I do have to warn you a little bit that if this gets a little salty, um, that might be the case because Essence lipsticks haven't been very successful for me in the past. Of course, I'm always very hopeful that these will be different. So this is Semi Shine 101, which is called My Choice. This doesn't look as light as some of the ones that came in the Catrice line. Uh, Catrice had some very pale nudes, but this is not too pale. And I'm not sure if you can see that, but I think on camera you can see that this lipstick has a little bit of a sheen running through it, but it's not sparkly or weirdly, it's just like a healthy glow. So it's not matte, it's not super shiny, and I had with Semi Shine, I kind of thought that this was going to be a very sheer formula, but as you can see, it is an opaque color, even for something this light. Did I say what the name is? It's 101 My Choice. So let's put this on my lips. So this would be 101 My Choice. And I have to say, I'm pleasantly surprised with this. This is a very creamy formula. It feels very pleasant going onto the lips. It doesn't have a very strange, like very cookie kind of scent or anything like that. It just smells like makeup to me, nothing crazy. It's not very chemically or anything like that. And this shade is actually quite flattering on because it is my lips but better. And because it has this very nice creamy formula, it doesn't make my lips look dry. It doesn't make it make them look weird or anything. In fact, this reminds me a little bit of what I got out of the Catrice Gel Plumping Lipstick in 030 Speak Up. That was a little bit more mauve. This is a bit more beigey, but this is the kind of lipstick that because it's very balmy, it's going to need touching up throughout the day. I predict like maybe two to three hours of wear out of a lipstick like this. Um, but nothing too crazy there. Uh, so one that you do need to touch up, but that you can because it is such a nice neutral shade. You can just wear very easily with lots of different looks. I was thinking this was going to be too light for me when I first tried it. So 101 My Choice is a pleasant surprise. Moving on then to 102, and this is the shade True Me. And on the sticker, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it looks super bright, and then we get this shade. It looks like a deeper, more mauve toned nude. So since I already quite liked 101 My Choice, maybe I quite like this one too. Let's see what this swatch is like. Oh yeah, this is far more pink. Um, 
Let me see if I can... It's a bit of a shoddy kind of swatch, but do you see that this is much more brown toned? And then this 102 shade is a lot, lot more like pink. Pinky peach, I would say. It's more peach pulling. I was hoping it would be more mauve. Hopefully they have one that's a little bit more mauve leaning, because that's usually my preference. So this will probably be a little warm for my complexion. That's my prediction. But it has that same sort of very pleasant, very creamy formula as the other one. So let's see what it looks like on. So this was the 0102 True Me, and it's nice. Like I uh, imagine it would be like a peachy, corally kind of nudie shade. It's pretty. It has a really lovely undertone because it pulls a little bit more pink. So I think it still works on my complexion for sure. Um, I, I just think that this is not the kind of shade that I will reach for a whole lot, but I think it can appeal to a lot of people. I, as I already mentioned, I would prefer this to just be a lot more mauve toned. I hope one of these shades will have that. Um, but yeah, this is a very, again, same pleasant texture, no weird smell. Almost like, it feels very much like a lip balm, but then it has the opacity of a lipstick, which I'm down with. And now we're going in with 103 Why Not? And this is, again, a little bit more pinky. Um, again, if I look at the bottom sticker, it looks like it's going to be like a hot pink, but it's more like a muted pinky shade. It's like a rose, which again, in terms of lipstick shades, it's not my favorite. So, oh yeah, this is lighter too than the other one. So that's the three nudie shades together. So this is far more pink. Then the other two so far the first one is definitely my favorite because it is that my lips but better kind of thing that's what i like in these like um uh like very balmy shades and i like a like nude that is exactly my lip color but that makes it look just a little bit more hydrated and even uh, that's what i got out of that first shade but this is far more pink so let's see what it looks like on And that would be 103 Why Not? And this is far too pink for my liking. Again, it's a flattering pink though. I do have to say that in, if, as far as pinks go, I think it is a nice lipstick. Again, it has a very nice balmy texture, but this is just not the kind of lipstick shade that I would reach for a lot. I just find that this looks a little dated on me. Um, it's just not something I, I really like. However, I think that there can be people who like this kind of shade. If you are into pink, lip, pink lipsticks, then this is quite a neutrally pink. It's not too blue. It's not too warm. It's sort of in the middle. It has that nice, lovely, rosy shade to it. I, I can see this work, and I'm not sure how well you can see my eye makeup today when I'm wearing something very neutral. A little bit of pink is in that too. So I do feel it kind of goes with the overall look I've got going on. It's just that a shade like this, I just don't see myself wearing a whole lot. Moving on then to 104 First Love. And ooh, we have another pinky corally kind of shade, it seems. Hmm. I hope I do hope that there's a little bit more shade variety, because right now I just get like pale nudie kind of shades, which I do hope there's a little bit more variation in the shades and the undertones. Again, this seems a bit boring. These seem to be very safe picks for Essence to be doing lipsticks on. Ooh, yeah, this is lighter. Whoa, this is more like that. Well, it is a corally pink. Um, it's definitely, but it is lighter than the previous one, which seems, to, now that I've swatched them together, it's, it seems to have a lot more orange, but then next to the peach, this looks super pink. And then this is even more pink. Now that I look at it in the viewfinder, it does seem like this has a lot more blue to it rather than a more like peachy shade. So maybe this is more like a coral, but it looked very pink on my lips. So let's see how this one fares. I don't, like this may be a bit too. And that will be 104 First Love. And as I predicted, this is def, oh this, I'm not sure if you can see that, but this makes my teeth green. Um, this is a very blue toned kind of pinky shade, which is never my favorite. There is only so many blue toned pinks that I like. Uh, as much as I love reds and I love all shades of red that I poss that you could possibly want, but with pinks, I really struggle finding like the right shade. I usually like pinks that have a little bit more to them than this. Like, again, I can see people wearing this, but this to me just looks very sort of like, you know, 
2005. This is not the most current of shades. So I've, I've tried four of them so far, and as you can see, I, I'm just, I'm not even using a makeup wipe here. I just have a tissue paper uh, to take off all these lipsticks, and it's super easy. These are so balmy, you can just wipe them straight off. So these are definitely not long-lasting lipsticks. There's not even a bit of staining on my lips, like nothing whatsoever. Um, then we have 105 Be Mine. Oh, another peach. Like, this is a very pale peachy shade. Like, essence, huh? What, what's going on? Like, I was thinking that as the shades go up, and also if you look at that sticker again, you're thinking that maybe this could be a deeper shade, but it looks like a pale peachy orangey shade. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Look at that! Like, again, it's like a bright peach. That's how I can describe this. I just know this is gonna look terrible on me. This is way too warm toned. Not my cup of tea at all. Not at all. So, yeah. This it even seems to have a bit of a white base to it. Let's see. So that would be 105 Be Mine. Mm -mm. This is better than the pink, I have to say. I like this better than the pink. But it's just, mm, it's, it's like an everyday peach. It's not too bright. It's definitely got something muted to it. It's quite light. But again, this just gives me very dated vibes. And so, so far this shade selection, like with the Catrice lipsticks, I just thought the undertones were very strange, which make them very difficult to wear. These are nice undertones. These are nice lipstick colors, but just look at how fair that is and how boring. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a bit critical here. But yeah, these shades, again, for an everyday lipstick, I think this can appeal to a lot of people. Like if you're looking for a good, affordable, everyday lipstick that's balmy, very comfortable to wear, these are like less than three euros, so who cares? But for three euros, I do want perhaps a little bit more in terms like excitement. So I hope the last three shades have some more interesting shades to them, for sure. Let's hope this is a little bit darker. This is 106 Late Night, and it seems to be like a deeper rosy kind of shade. It's definitely not even close to a red. It's definitely still very much a pink. Um, and we've all, I just told you that I don't really love pinks. Ooh, but this, Ooh, it's more like a watermelon kind of shade. But I do really like this. It's a bit of a watermelon kind of shade almost. Hmm, this could look pretty. Let's see. So this bit would be 106 Late Night, and this is the first one where I really go like, yes, this is really doing something for me. This is a little bit more exciting. It is that perfect sort of like like when you just ate fresh watermelon and your lips get a little stained, but then a little bit more intense. This is not like a raspberry pink, but it's got this like popsicle kind of shade, and I love those. Like I think I have one of those like lip stains from like a Korean makeup brand, and this is the kind of shade that I see a lot of Korean makeup brands do. It's like sort of like lip stainy kind of thing, only I don't think this will stain your lips anyways, but I think this can even be pretty if you were to just like blot it on and then tap it in, just to give your lips a little bit more oomph. This is the first one where I'm truly like, that's one I want to keep, depending on how the other shades go. 107 Wild Side. Ooh, yeah, we do definitely go a little bit more deeper here. This is verging on red, but in the bullet, it doesn't really look very red. So maybe where the previous one was more like a watermelon shade, this could be like a raspberry pink. And raspberry pinks, I usually find really, really, really nice because as far as pinks goes, I love a raspberry pink. Like raspberry pinks are heaven. So let's see. Ooh, yes, please. Do you see that? It's got a lot of blue though. It does have a very strong blue undertone. But that could be very flattering. This is definitely like that perfect pinky red sort of shade. And again, with this very sort of like shiny, juicy kind of formula, I really like shades like this because it just makes you look like you just ate a popsicle. 
I love it. So there we have 107 Wild Side, and I like this, but it's such a balmy texture that it, that it does transfer and it will go all over the place. I'm not sure if you can see that, but right here on the bullet, just from putting on the lipstick, let me turn down the lipstick so you can perhaps see, but do you see that I've already got product all over that bullet right there? Um, so very creamy formula, I'm not sure if such a bright shade with such a creamy formula is worth the effort to try and get it to stay put. Um, but this, this texture combined with the shade, and do you just see how that bright shade just kind of livens my face and just, this is like a, a pick me up in a lipstick. Like if you've come down with a flu or a cold this season or maybe that coronavirus, and you just need that pick-me-up that makes you feel good, that puts a smile on your face. A shade like this, like this is why I love makeup, you know, this is just instant happiness in a tube and it's three euros. I'm quite taken with this. Can you tell? <laughs> and this definitely does stain your lips a little bit, like I can definitely still see some of that pinkness. Uh, so this is one that even if it does wear off, it will probably wear off quite evenly because it does have that staining factor, which is a good plus. Last shade, 108 Secret Life, and this looks to be the deepest shade, ooh, this is a red, and we all know how I feel about reds, however, creamy, balmy reds, like with a pink, I feel because it has that sort of like fruity kind of vibe to it, with a red, I find it a lot more difficult to pull off, I don't like shiny reds, oh well, ooh, it is a nice shade, it's like a bit deeper, a bit more almost berry. It's not like a true, true red. It's definitely more like a berry. Then it might work, but again, it, this may just be a little bit too dark for me to really like it in such a creamy, balmy texture. So this is 108 Secret Life, and as you can see in the swatch, it looks a bit more berry, but on my lips, it's like a... Uh, like a deeper red. It does have a little bit of pink running through it, but... I put a red lipstick on and suddenly everything is just all right. That's not what Paul Bonitini sang. He talked about wearing new shoes and I feel that way about red lipstick. Like I put on a red lip and life is instantly better. <laughs> so yeah, this is definitely a lipstick again that I like, but like I mentioned, I'm not a big fan of creamy textures in red lipsticks. I would much more prefer going for one of these like pinky shades. I definitely think that 107 shade was very, very stunning on my pale skin. I have to say, I do have to say that. And of course, with these brighter shades, it's quite easily easy to pull these three off. Also, if you have a deeper complexion, I think. They go on very balmy, very, uh, very creamy, and the brighter shades definitely do stain your lips. Uh, let, let me demonstrate again by taking this one off because I want to film another video after this and then I want to wear that bright pinky shade for sure. So that's just if I blot it and then I take my tissue and I'm going to wipe it off. Now you can see that it definitely stains and it's only been on my face for a few seconds. So there's definitely a little bit of staining. Like, um, a nice, and it's a pretty stain, it's quite even too. So yeah, of these shades, I like this nude one the best, 101, and then 106, 107, 108, but that's my preference. If the other four shades have an undertone that suit you, then maybe you'd like those too, but for me, I felt they weren't quite right. I thought those shades were a little bit dated. It's got a really nice creamy formula. I'm gonna put that other shade back on because I wanna end the video with that, so be right back. Now I feel a bit like me again wearing this lipstick. So yeah, these are nice lipsticks. I'm much more stoked about this line than I am about the new Catrice Full Satin Nude or their Clean ID lipsticks. I wish that these were the Clean ID lipsticks for sure. I was expecting this kind of formula from Catrice, but definitely not from Essence. As I mentioned at the start of this video, I'm usually not a big fan of Essence lipsticks because they're just not perfect, but these are really nice. Very, very nice. I am quite taken, especially with this shade 107. 
so so pretty so so stunning oh so uh thank you very much for watching this video today i hope it was helpful if you can get your hands on these or if you were just curious how these lipstick would go on and what they look like on me then hopefully then now you know kind of thing so thank you for watching give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more by me i make three new videos a week over on this channel so i will be seeing you very very soon Bye bye